Okay, lah, let's go. Go, go, go. Okay, we are live. So today, start 10 minutes earlier. Master is super, super early today. Because I have so much to cover, almost 40 slides. Update on the market, update on what I'm buying, update on Chicken Genius, update on Xiaomi, Xping, and uh, Tokyopedia, uh, and uh, Gojek, the go-to group, the earnings result. So a lot to cover, 40 slides today. So welcome all, Dominic Teo, welcome, welcome. Tiger Shark, also bothered this chip, uh, yeah, so you bothered CFA also. So I have the poll for you all, whether you are boarding with Master or not. Oleg, SE pullback continue, and today we will accelerate to 55. And at, as minimum at 52. Uh. If it pulls back, then uh, you want to add, okay, uh, 55, 52, up to you. Yeah, so today the results on Go2 actually affects SE and Grab. First, Go2 is their competitor. Tokyopedia against Shopee. Then Gojek against uh, Grab. So uh, later I'll talk about their results. Oleg, today bought 1,000 Baba in Hong Kong. Yeah, it's a pullback. So the $70 is a very strong support. Same for Ping An. 35 is also a strong support. So Baba and Ping An now is super cheap. Yeah, but Master already bought a lot of Ping An and Baba already. Oh, Baba, you know I've been back holding for two years. Ping An, you all know I, I put my wedding fund into Ping An already. So Master, wow. recently I keep talking about REITs. Ah. So I, I cannot tahan already. I think REITs very undervalued. So today I made the move. So later I'll talk more about the CFA REITs. JH, welcome. Kwan, why bought CFA REITs and lock not link REITs? Ah? Later, I'll, I'll, I'll talk about this. Don't worry. Yeah, later, I'll talk about my, my views on the REITs. We will be very well explained. Oi, OE, good evening. Oh, Boon, what? Ah? Japan race rate benefit Hong Kong market. Yes, so I'll talk about it. So let me begin. Oh, let me start already. Also, those uh, who come in later can, can also just, just uh, watch from behind. Because I have so much to cover today. So today the big news, Japan ends era of negative rates. So no more negative rates here. All the central banks, all is positive rate. So it's a stressful time for them now. Like I see the local Japanese news, right? Is that wages are going up 5 or even 6%. So this will push through inflation because you, you pay more for workers. Then companies, they will raise the prices. So the forecast is the inflation will continue to climb and it will be above the 2% mark. So the run in a gray color you see here under the Bloomberg chart, right, is the forecast for their February inflation, which is above 2%, almost hitting 3%, is that 2.8% uh, like that. So the, uh, the Japan central bankers, they already know that inflation is starting to rise. Because they themselves can, can see the data before they even announce it. So I think this is the right move or that they start to raise now rather than later. I think they are already very late to the game of raising rates, or better late th than never. So for Japan, right, they voted seven against two. La. So they, they have nine board members, right? In the US, I think there's 12 uh, board members. So Japan is less, but majority wins. So yes, the, the new policy rate will now become zero to 0 0.1 instead of negative 0.1%. So this has a very huge implication, not only to Japan, but the whole world. Because like Japan, right, you can know that their debt to GDP is like uh, more than 150%. So there's a lot of Japanese debt in this world. Japan is also one of the very popular currency of, alongside US dollar, Euro, or Japanese yen is the third most traded currency. And people like to borrow in Japanese yen to do a carry trade. Well, that means they sell Japanese bonds uh, and they take the Japanese yen, they convert it to US dollar so that they earn the difference, they earn the spread, but they take on the forex risk. So now that the in the past, the carry trade, you, you borrow money in Japanese yen for free, but now there's a cost and this cost could start to increase if they start raising rates. So there's a fear of this borrowing cost going up and this will unwind. Uh, the carry trades or uh, what if there's a lot of carry trade in the US so there's a fear that US market might come down there's a fear that crypto market might come down there's a fear that REITs might be affected by the hiring borrow higher borrowing costs in, in Japanese yen so for chicken genius right or our chicken genius coco previously I shared that he sold his, his Bitcoin at the uh, 70k level 
So I think that that was a very good sell. La. I think he's, he's quite a good trader, having good trading sense or in, in the short term. But is he an investor? Answer is no. I think he's a trader. He's not an investor. Then subsequently, he posted on his Twitter that he said the Bitcoin, the 65k level will be defended. Huge call option war. My real friends tell me they will defend it. I don't know who is, is his real friends. Are. are they billionaires or what? I don't know. Also, this was over the, the weekend. Oh, but today, we saw Bitcoin breaking support already, immediately crashed below. So over the last seven days, we saw Bitcoin picking at 73k. Now it has lost 10k and it's down to 63k. Where everyone shouting Bitcoin is going to 80k and 100k, usually it's the opposite. Huh? Then recently, I saw videos from my local Singapore YouTubers. Backholder podcast had a discussion on crypto. Kelvin Learns Investing today also have a video on crypto. So usually when all the influencers are coming back to talk about Bitcoin, talk about crypto, usually that's the pick. I would say that that's a signal. Then a uh, Chicken Genius, he usually is good at fun running, but now he, he is thrifting Prata. So I would say that he has a habit that wherever he sell and take profit, he will quickly turn bearish uh, on that same asset that he previously bought. Like he bought Tesla, rolled it from 300,000 to 6 million. After he sold off his Tesla, attained financial freedom, he bashed Tesla and remains bearish on Tesla until today. His target price for Tesla is $69. Also, Chicken Genius has a very good habit of flipping Prata once he exits the position. So today, Chicken Genius turns super, super, super bearish. Right? He said, it's time to be 50% in cash. That means sell half, half your position. That's super bearish because the Bank of Japan has moved his sell call in mid-April to now. Previously, he said that uh, in April, we could likely have a correction. Master also said uh, that we, we might face a correction, or if you remember, because I, I felt that uh, there's the AI bubble and there's also the crypto bubble and, and that the expectations of the rate, uh, the market is too optimistic. So I was expecting a correction, but now he's shouting, market! Crash is coming already. So that's the chicken genius view. Or because he says that the yen carry trade is dead. Or meaning that people borrow in, in, in Japanese yen and they invest in euro or, or US dollar debt. Also, it's, it's a, so this will lead to negative impact on US dollar and, and euro. Also, uh, th this will also cause them to unwind their position. Whether they use the US or euro to buy stocks, they will un sell their stocks get back the US or Euro dollar, then they, they convert it to Yen and pay it off. So it feels like a margin call on the world. So liquidity will reverse, a reverse in liquidity. And the net impact is that US assets drop. So the US stock market uh, drop, be it like property, stocks, bonds, or even crypto. So it's the everything crisis due, due to the liquidity. So my best guess is some sort of crisis needs to happen so that Feds can be dovish, so that they can have a June pivot to cut rates. Dovish means that the bird <laughs> uh, pack pack down. Or dovish means pack, pack, pack means lower rates. Hawkish or means fire up. Also, it's no longer a hawkish view. Now it's, it's predicting a dovish view to cut rates to save the, the market. Yeah, so he, he put out on his the 65k war call. Or was nicely defended for two days until the BOJ is too big for crypto to absorb or I, whatever or whatever. So he say, uh, now when I think we can start buying, I'll let you know again. So he update us again if he's buying. So now he's selling really and, and he's moving half into cash. For master me, I'm the opposite. I, I, I'm fully vested and I'm buying. So I have a poll for you all, you all update me. So we saw that Maple Tree Pan Asia Commercial Trust down 3%. Wow, so today morning, uh, well, after the announcement, so many people uh, in my Telegram group ask me, Master, uh, why, 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 why drop 3%? So immediately, I explained to you all. Uh, so now the dividend yield was wow, 7%, very high, but super downtrend. Or uh, it's like, wow, it's like crisis blows already. It's Maple <laughs> 3 Pan Asia Commercial Trust gone case. My answer is no. I think it's still a solid uh, blue chip commercial read. Or well, the reason why it's down 3% much more than other risks is its exposure to Japan. So you look at their portfolio. So those who want to see the detail, detail look, search for 5 Tiger General. You see 5 Tiger General, I've analyzed all, uh, all these risks many times already. Uh, so you see Japan is 8%. Uh, 
of their portfolio. So previously, they were borrowing Japanese yen as almost nothing. And now the interest rate is coming up. So there's a fear that this exposure will hurt them. Because although it's just up a bit to 0.10%, but the market fear is that Japan central banks will keep hiking rates. The big question is, when, when will they stop hiking rate? Will they keep hiking it to 1%, 2%? three percent so it's a big unknown so when there's uncertainty investors just sell off the japanese assets so so uh that's why mpact is being sold down so harshly three percent so i think this is overblown so i want to be a buyer when others are, are fearful i want to be greedy also now i've turned very greedy on on, on reads Whereas on the flip side, right, you see local YouTubers like AK71. Also, you have seen me talk about him in the past. Then, uh, then the tunnels mode got out of hand. So, Master now more toned down already. I get your feedback. I'll be more objective. Yeah, Master be more objective and less personal. So, uh, some of the YouTubers, right, oh, they are bearish on risk still. Some of them, they believe that the worst is not over for risk and it will get worse. And, and risk, the DPU will continue to decline. And so they are recommending to buy banks instead because BBS, all this, they have like 6% or more dividend yield. So you look at his recent videos, uh, almost half his videos is buy, 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 buy DBS, buy OCBC, buy UOB, buy, 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 buy the banks. So the now you can see what's happening is a rotation. Retail investors, they are selling out of risk and rotating their funds into banks. Banks, that they find that revenues and earnings is going up. Dividends is well maintained, well supported. Whereas their thesis for risk is that DPU is crashing. They will be hurt by a higher in, uh, interest rate environment staying higher for longer. So, so that's the thesis. But I disagree. I think now is the worst time to buy banks. Worst time to buy banks, to be honest. Not that I, I have anything personal about him. Just that I want to warn my community not to follow blindly. And my reasoning is proven by supported by uh, statistics so dbs look at the 20 year chart you pull out the maximum chart now if you buy dbs at 35 dollars you are buying at record higher you're buying at the highest point eh? you're not bargain hunting you're buying at all-time high eh? and is it wise to chase at the all-time high my answer is no my answer is no oh then you say master price is price you must look at valuations so for a bank, right, usually how we value banks is price to book because banks, they work on their capital or the more capital they have, the more lending and borrowing they can do. They leverage off their, their book to, to make a return. So for DBS, right, you look at the price to book value, historical over the test, past 10 years, I don't have 20 years data, I can find the 10 year data. The lowest was 0 0.8 times price to book. The highest was 1.66 times book value. Now it's trading at 1.45 and it's not updated. It's actually 1.5 times book value. Now it's trading at 1.5 times book value already because the price actually continue to go up. The price to book is 1.5 times. So I think this is a red flag. You are in the danger zone. You are buying at all time high price. You are buying at record high price to book valuations. So for me, right, those who follow me on Hardware Zone Forum and Investing Note Forum know that I've been in and out of DBS multiple times. During the uh, recent COVID crisis, I bought DBS at 21, I bought DBS at 19, I bought it at 17. I fired three bullets. I bought almost 200,000 well, worth of DBS, for those who remember. Also, I bought it average price $20, I sold it at $30 for 50% return. No bluff you. Those who follow me on investing note, you all know, I like to buy DBS at about one times book value or lower. So usually that's where I, I bargain high. So one times book value is where I draw the line, whether to buy or sell DBS. I want to be a buyer at this line or lower. And over the history, every five or eight years, doing a down cycle when people are very fearful i be a buyer so i'm a contract investor i'm a value investor i'm usually doing what's what the herd is opposite <laughs> I'm, I'm usually doing the opposite of what the herd is doing so now the herd is all rushing to buy dbs at 35 dollars i'm not buying my recommendation is to sell your dbs at 35 don't wait for the dividends don't wait for the bonus don't wait for anything just sell i think now is on the high side already looking at his 
whether it's price or price to book or get out of the DBS. Why? Because while central banks cut rates, which they eventually will, net interest margin will compress, earnings will come down. So I expect DBS bank the earnings to easily come down by 5 to 10% for the full year. Maybe the first half, the earnings is still solid, but the second half, the earnings is going to come down already. So you have been warned, this is my view, I might be wrong. Master is an idiot and this channel is entertainment only. So, or education and entertainment. So what is master buying? Master is buying into risk. Yeah. So I did say a couple of times, I'm not into risk because I feel that master is still young or still very energetic. Also, I'm not in that full retirement mode. Yes, I'm semi-retired, but I'm not fully retired. See, I'm still actively talking on, on, on YouTube. So I don't want dividend you. Plus, I, I don't need a dividend. I don't need a dividend. I don't want dividend. It's only when I'm 50 or 60 years old, then, then maybe I want more passive income uh, for, for risk. Now, I, I don't want dividend, but because risk is so freaking cheap, then I keep, you keep asking me about risk, then I do a lot of research. I share with you all. In the end, I convinced myself. Uh, I, I brainwashed myself to buy risk because everything points to me that this is pao jia. Oh, this is so, so, so cheap. Look at the 10-year chart. Banks DBS is record high valuations, record high price. Risk is record low price, record low valuations. <laughs> the, the five Tiger General, like I mentioned, is trading at 25% discount to book value. Also, it's record low valuations. And look at the 10 year chart. Usually, at this 1000 level, is where you want to be a buyer because your downside is limited. The most I can lose from here is 5 to 10%. But if it bounce back to 1,400, 1,500, I can gain 40-50%. So my risk to reward is amazing. I can only lose 10%, but I, I can gain 50%. So that's where I look at CFA. CFA is the Nikko Asset Management Trade Trading, the Asia Excluding Japan REIT ETF. So it's an exchange traded fund that's very diversified. It holds stakes in 40 different large cap blue chip REITs. And you notice that in my recent videos, you ask me a lot, you got master like, which REITs to buy. Then I noticed that uh, I keep promoting is the five Tiger General, five blue chip solid REITs in the Singapore market. And my Hong Kong topic is Ling REITs and Fortune REITs. So I noticed that all these seven counter right, is actually in this ETF. It's in here. So Ling REITs is in Capital Land, Integrated Commercial Trust, Maple Tree, uh, Pan Asia Commercial Trust, Fraser Center Point Trust, Suntech is in, Fortune is also in, eh? Caper Reed is also in, I forgot to underline it. <laughs> so, all these seven reads that I cover is all in. So, if you ask me, Master, ah, you say Ling so good, you say MPEG so good, why you never buy? Because Master no money to buy. If I have 140,000 or cash uh, or, or wedding fund, uh, I will work already. I'll take 20k buy Ling 20k buy uh, Maple Pack Asia. So, I'll put it, put or uh, equal weighted into these seven counters. But because master no money, master every month I'm just buying like $1,000 worth of shares. $1,000 if I divide to seven counter, right? Then each counter I put $130. Then my commission is $2. So it's very loogie. My, my commission cost is too high. So in the end, oh, I like bulk. I say, might as well buy the ETF. <laughs> so I'm not a fan of buying ETF, but because my funds are all vested in the so-called China market, uh, which you know is Alibaba, Ping An, JD, and SE. So I'm really very heavily vested uh, uh, in them already. So I have never thought of getting into REITs, but now I see REITs is so cheap. So I whack already. So today I bought into uh, the, the REIT ETF. All the details I got shared in my Telegram group. So master no bluff you want. Now this all, all my trade are updated in, in my Telegram group. Or, so, so you, you want to know about my trade, then you pay $2, get Baba Bird. You join our Telegram group, you can see my trade. Oh, but you don't join, so can. Oh, that is additional info. You just watch, watch my video, see me talk talk, then you see whether it's beneficial to you or not. Or oh, it's like a value service. Uh, because in the past, uh, people say Baba Bird is for fun one. Then all oh, you got can rocket, have the bubble icon. So I don't know how to value add to you. <laughs> so one way to value add is that I give you updates, then I answer your questions uh, on Telegram group. Because... This group of people, they're they are paying me uh, about like uh, contributing to, to me, I'm not saying paying me, uh, I'm saying like, contributing to me a few hundred dollars per month or, or as a recurring membership basis. So I also service you all a bit. Also, master, 
is on board the cruise already, huh? so icon of the sea, huh? Pirates of Caribbean, I don't know, I, I long time never go cruise already, seven day, eight night cruise, uh, I don't know, uh. so this is a cruise ship, uh. it's not Sampan Ritz, uh. confirm it's not Sampan, okay? Sampan is manual life, manual life is not inside uh, this, this ETF, you don't see the, the manual life, there's no manual life, there's no uh, prime risk, there's no capital call, or oh, we don't have those or oh, lousy reads ah, oh, it's more more solid one. I I, I would say and it's very diversified. There's Hong Kong, there's India, and there's uh, Singapore po uh, exposure across Asia. So the, the solid one. So now the storm is still happening. Oh, it's high interest rate environment. It's still raining. The wind is still strong. So you want to be in a cruise. You don't want to board the sampan ship. Oh, you see the small 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 boat. Oh, in the water, you don't want to board that one. You want to board this one, the big boat. You want to be invested in blue chip reads and. By putting my money into CFA, I immediately got diversification. And I tell you, CFA, right, you draw out the chart a few years ago, is $1.20. It's one dollar, and today it's just less than 80 cents. The IPO price is one dollar. Also, 2017 IPO at one dollar, paying 5% dividend you. Wow, people go in and buy. Now it's trading at 20% discount and 6.2% you, and nobody is buying. Of course, people think that risk is dangerous. Buy banks is safer. Also, if you think banks is safer, then, then you go ahead and buy. For me, I tell you, banks now is the most risky. risky. Once Fed starts to cut rates, that in, net interest margin come down, their earnings come down, banks have a lot of downside. Have a lot of, at least 20-30% downside for, for the banks. Now is the worst time to buy banks. They are at the all-time high. Now is the best time to buy REITs. But only if you can hold for a long term. Also, one way to hold for longer is force yourself. Use your CPF to buy. But I don't recommend that. Uh, you, uh, CPF, right? Especially ordinary car, the best choice is to buy house. Oh? So my belief as a portfolio basis, right? As a Singaporean, right? CPF OA, right? Best is to buy house, buy HDB. SA account is use it like a bond, a uh, risk-free bond to get 4%. Cash is the one you want to use it to buy stocks and buy REITs. Also, very simple. Your entire portfolio should have only four components. Or uh, stocks, or uh, be it like QQQ, Hansen Tech ETF, or, or you can have REITs like CFA or the Five Tiger General. Then you have house, HDB using your OA. Then your SA is a bond component. Get four percent. So that's the default already. My thinking. Or uh, as a default person, you should think of that that's how you should allocate your portfolio. If you want to die or that die diverge or well, shift away from this, right? You must have very strong reasons why you want to shift away. Why you don't want to buy a house, you move your OA to SA. There must be a very strong reason. If you don't have a strong reason, don't do anything stupid. <laughs> yeah, OA is to buy a house. SA is used as a risk-free bond. Then your cash is used for high-risk investment, like stocks and REITs. As simple as that. But if you already own a house, you have excess CPF money, you can use your CPF money to buy CFA. And CFA 6.2% you is much higher than 2.5% ordinary, ordinary account CPF. So my Kong Master Bo Chiu, or Master Chiu you already to, to come on board. So whether you come on board or not, up to you. Oh, but this one I dare to recommend because confirm past chop cucumber cannot go to zero. It cannot go bankrupt because there's 40 weeks inside. Cannot be all the weeks go bankrupt. So this week, this ETF can never go to zero one. The downside is really limited. Like I, I tell you already, the downside, the most now right, is at 78 cents is 1000 level. So it might drop another 10% to 900 level. So the lowest this week can go is 70 cents. The lowest it can go. So the downside is 8 cents. But if you are correct, it recovers, it can go back to at least $1. So your downside is 8 cents, your upside is 22 cents. So at this 78 level, your risk to reward is very attractive and you get a 6.2% dividend as a base. So for me, right, I don't intend to hold it for long term. Every year, I, I get the 6% dividend as a base. But once it goes to $1 or higher, I will sell it away. So I'm getting 6% dividend plus a potential 20% capital gains. That's how I, I'm playing this read. Oh, but I might change uh, my, my view uh, maybe suddenly next year or, or this year and I get married. So once I get married, wow, then my risk profile different already. Then I, I want more passive income or to buy milk powder or to, to, to buy that di diaper or especially if it's a chichik bong or shotgun marriage. Also, just kidding. Touch wood. Oh, no. Oh. So that, that's my thinking. As simple as that. So I believe now 
It's the worst time to buy banks. It's the best time to buy REITs or do your own due diligence or entertainment and education only. So uh, on, on the market wise, la uh, last piece is that China. Now we uh, uh, the CSRC. Yesterday I talked about Wu Qing or oh, showing high five. 5,000 points, we don't know. So the you know, understand that he is working very hard. And today they whack on China Evergrande. Or they find the Hengda, which is the Evergrande unit in China, 4.18 billion or based on accounting scandal. So this is the biggest accounting scandal ever. It's bigger than Luckin Coffee, bigger than WorldCom, bigger than Enron. This is the biggest uh, uh, ever, but it doesn't freak the market out. In fact, this is a positive. So what China Evergrande did is that they inflate their revenues by recognizing sales in advance. So usually as a developer, right, if you build the, the, the thing and, and you sell, right, you should recognize it in stages. Example, it's going to be built over five years. So every year, you recognize 20% of the re revenues. But instead of five years, they push it all into one year or even two years. And that's why the numbers is inflated. Uh, so uh, the CSRC finds serve as a warning to owners of other defaulted developers that are failing to co collaborate with the authority. So a lot of these developers, right, instead of trying to save themselves, they're trying to move their money overseas. That's why they arrested the, the, the founder. Oh, that's why the founder is gone case already and will be punished. So this is actually a positive move because it actually shows a sign that the government is serious. Or oh, you all this CEO, right? Better wake up your idea and save the company and not try to run away. Because you cannot run away from CCP. Also, oh, some investors welcome the CSRC move. See as a positive for financial regulation. So this is a good thing. Regulators are expect to keep the pressure on the future. So if you try to do this kind of funny things, we will catch you, we will punish you. Or, or, so don't try to smoke us. So the inflated figures account for half of their total revenues in one nine and 80% of their revenues in two zero. So this is a huge accounting fraud. Uh. Yeah, so basically it's like a pump and dump like that. They show that the numbers are very good, but the owners take the opportunity to cash out uh, and, and exit so that their revenues and their profits will overstated also the next three part i'll talk about is the xiaomi uh, xping and go to results also uh, the second part i'll talk about xiaomi xping then the third part i'll talk about uh go to so i previously had the poll for you all so master asked your master uh, uh bought the cfs read uh can wow wow like i like i like wow the, okay let, let it run a bit, a bit lagging let it run let it run oh wow 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 i see what special okay I, I let it run so wow nowadays the, the chat it's quite quite fast moving uh. I see I got lag or not. Uh, no lag, very good. Now this internet very good. Uh, so hope you all uh, enjoy my, my sharing. Okay, Nike bought MPEG today. Wow, goodbye, goodbye. Yeah, Johnson Yo, uh, Jeff Liu, Anantas, Alvin C. Wow, you also bought more. Thank you. That history always repeat itself. EF Leong, welcome, welcome. Yeah, so Alvin C, I bought Testa last night. Yeah, uh. wow. Sorry, Emil. I don't know. No, it's okay. Don't need to say sorry. You want to buy what? Up to you. Uh, master, I, I change Taiwan. Also, 144 vote. Oh, 150 vote. I, I, I close the poll. Because it, it's quite near. Also, Chong Costa. Oh, Chucky. Ah, Nigoro. Welcome, welcome. MK. Ah, Mark got sales. Ah, why scared? Ah, sales, sales, sales. Ah, fire sale. Yeah. So, BTC. Japan increased. Yeah, a bit. Go Kim. Thank you for, for your uh, Milo Peng. As usual, our sponsor of the Master Leong show. So like I mentioned, uh, crypto or uh, now Chicken Genius uh, say 50% cash rate. So he's selling out already. So I think the, the, the mountain is forming already. So what, what, what I mean by the, the mountain is forming, what can I add blocker? Uh? Why I got add meh? Master never see any pawn. Eh? Why I got add? <laughs> no, uh, okay, that's kidding. So you see Bitcoin, right? What, what is wrong with Bitcoin is that it's often a pump and, and dump. They play on your sentiments. They play on your feeling. When they shout, uh, Bitcoin 80k, 100k, uh, or you, you people FOMO and go in. So you can see, right, Bitcoin is historically, so in, in 2 1, what we saw is that, that the first uh, pump and dump, the first mountain was formed. And then the second mountain was formed in uh, uh, also late 2 1, uh, double mountain. Uh. So it's always right, the top right doesn't last very long, one. Is that, Sun Yi Sun Jian. English is called just for a moment only, like a few days. Then it comes down sharply. So my view right, is that the top of the mountain has already be fo been formed already. 
I don't think it's gonna reform another mountain. Uh. I don't think so. Uh. Yeah, so usually what happens is it come down, then it consolidate. So this might come down, so you look at the previous support. Uh. So here is 32k, here is like 40k uh, like that, 48k, 45k like that. So I think Bitcoin might pull down towards uh, maybe 50k, but usually it's a higher low. Hi now it's a higher high, higher low. So you see here 32 and here is like 45, right? 32, 45. So maybe 50 like that. I think 50k level will see a consolidation. Also higher, higher, low, uh, higher, low, higher, high, higher, low. Sorry. Uh. So I think, yeah, so, so th that's my thinking now. We see how, how it's, it's played out. I don't think they can push it to 80 or 100k. Uh, because nowadays you see, People even like people like Chicken Genius, they they, are, they have a huge following and they have like three hundred thousand subscriber followers. And so when Chicken Genius dumb right, he his followers will also panic and sell. So I I think the, the mountain has peaked already. But yeah, Chicken Genius bearish ah. He fit fit pata Chicken Genius fit pata. Oh the pata is here. Fit pata yeah yeah fit fit pata yeah. So th that's my thinking. Ah uh, at uh, Choi, do you think? CFA will break the 72 lows. The answer is no. Uh, my answer is no. Like I tell you already, uh, if you base off the, 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 the chart that I show you, right? Like you see the 72 cent low is the 2020, the, the COVID lows. So it comes back to the COVID lows is 72. But it may or may not come to 72. But I, I don't know when is the cheapest. Uh. 78 is easy buy. Uh. It comes to 72, I lose 6 cents only. Yeah, so uh, in my test, the 72 support but I, I don't think uh, it will break below jerome same ak come gong now then buy bank stock yeah i feel that it's come gong eh. uh, not that i like to personal attack but now you buy at all-time high eh. oh the price is all-time high you, then the price to book is all-time high i never bluff you this data is although uh it's not i own self get the data i get from third party side la, but i believe my my data is correct la, that price and valuation all time high that i rather be buying reads uh. i'm the opposite uh, because now the banks is all time high because the herd is buying the banks so i'm not the herd i'm, I'm a contrarian so we are the minority if you join my my live stream means we are the minority so okay i end the poll 157 so ask you all whether you all want to follow me on board cfa or not so let me look at the answer what oh, the poll gone already uh. too late already uh, today where, where, where's my pole? My, my pole gone already. Uh. Oh, Jiba Boma. Uh, where's my pole? My pole gone. Uh, uh. My, my pole, oh, how it lag, lag, lag. A lot of people. So, Master Border CFA read ETF. Are you coming on board? So, 53% say yes. 6% plus use too juicy. Let's go. Treasure Island, let's go. Then, another half 46%. No, risk will crash further. So if you think risk will crash further, then you are looking at uh, entry level of 72 or 75 cents, I, I would say. Uh, CFA, uh, read. Oh yeah, I have it here. So if you do want to bought now, then, then what price you want to bought? What price you want to break new lows? man? Now, even the COVID, the most scary, so the lowest is here. It's the COVID period. The, I think the five-year chart uh, is, is about here. Uh, 75, 72 like that. Also, you look at the 52 week range, right? Uh, also, not there. Uh. This is the recent one. Uh. I need 2 0. Uh. Kobe also don't have this low. Uh. Don't have that. Uh. means the, the lowest low is like 75. Uh. 75, 74 is, is the lowest already. Yeah, so we are very near that already. Uh. So, if you do want 78, then I think 75. Uh. Yeah, so this is the lowest already. Even Kobe wasn't this low. Uh. Oh, Kobe was. Even Kobe period was 95. Uh. This is even worse. Uh. Ah, so 75 is the lowest already. So I think if you do want 78, then you try for 75. Then 75, I think a lot of people will bargain hard. Uh. I don't think it will go below 75 uh, like that. If it breaks below 75, usually it's some sort of like black swan event. Uh. What I mean by black swan event is that, example, US, they, they, Powell go crazy, raise interest rate from 5.25 to 5.5. Ah, uh, That one then might, might break the support. Otherwise, I don't think it will be break below 75. Uh. Yeah, 72, I don't know wh where you see it. Yeah, but the way I, I look at it, 75 is the lowest already. Yeah, 0.7, 75 cents is, is the lowest. Yeah, Wu Ching say 5. Yeah, Master Wish, I buy it. CFA uh, is a REIT ETF. Uh. Individual REIT, uh, I know money to buy. Uh. 
Empty pals, we will feel better when master is on the same boat. Thanks for support. Yeah, so this is the re ETF uh, that I'm recommending now, uh, CFA. And it's CPF approved one. So you know that uh CPF got to do the background check. It's not a scam read. Uh. Oh, Alvin C, share my profit from Tesla. I know that you hate that, but we all love money. Or oh, congrats that you make money on Tesla. Alvin C, thanks for your type. What la, what la, whole la, whole la, yeah. Buy risk, keep how long? La? Keep. If you, you can keep forever, la, that means you, you always get 6% or, or higher. Because the, the, the dividends you know, over the long run will increase based on inflation. Or when they raise the rental, the renters will go higher, the DPU will go higher. But DPU, you cannot see it uh, because the DPU increase maybe 2% per year only. So if it's like, uh, like uh, you get like six, $600 dividend, right? Then maybe next year you get $612 uh, dividend. So it's a very small increase only. But over the long run, your, your dividend should increase if you buy this ETF. Yeah, if, you, if it goes to $1 or higher, you want to sell for capital gains also can. Alvin C, when everybody shouts sell Tesla, I know it's time to buy and rebound. Also, you caught the rebound last night because the uh, Elon Musk said that the Grok, he want to open source it, uh, become, yeah, so that benefits uh, Tesla. So, uh, Ferb Maggie, I will buy and live inside a data center read, or stay inside a data center. Yeah, I go, I will keep my link read forever. What wow, the dividend good. It's the master read or ping on better or both different. Uh. REIT is trading, I would say, at a 20% discount. Then uh, it's property exposure. Ping An is also trading at a discount. And also about, I think, 7% dividend, if I'm not wrong, Ping An. So Ping An, the exposure is more like financial. So one is property, one is financial stock. Then Alibaba is more of a is tech stock. Ping An has some tech component, uh, like the one connect, all this. But I would say 80% of their business is financial. Maybe only 10 to 20%. Is technology, so Ping An is more like an insurance, a bank, a set manager, uh, than than a tech company. Whereas, so different category, Alibaba, uh, JD, and SE. These are tech companies. Ping An is a financial company. Then, uh, CFA is a REIT company. So it depends on your portfolio, uh, which area you want to be higher weighted. That then you bet accordingly. That that will be the thinking. Uh. yeah, buy CFA. Don't have to headache. Whereas you buy individual REITs, you don't know which one to average down. For me, I don't have so much money. La. Yeah. Heng Ta, yeah. Ponzi scheme, la. cheat a lot of people money. Man Wee Ling, uh, welcome, welcome. Lee Seng Yi, what la? SE, unlimited upside. What you so bullish on SE. La. So I, I'll cover go to, la. go to whether their business good or, or bad. Yeah. So what is master? How many shares of CFA do you I buy a few hundred shares only. I don't have so much money. La. If I'm putting in like, uh, $1,000 per month, then it's just a few hundred shares. Uh, but, but some people in our community, they, they bought like 10,000 shares or what. Uh, I don't have so much money. Uh. The DCA is, is five figure. Uh. My DCA is just uh, three or four figure. Uh. It can be a few hundred dollars. It can be $1,000 the, the most. Uh. Yeah, nowadays, every month I DCA is like 500 to, to 1,000. Uh. Yeah, but, but this is my first bullet only. I, I will buy again at the month end. Yeah, because today I think it's too cheap already. That's why I fire a small one, but I'll fire it. I'll be firing again at the month end. Now I'll update you all again. Yeah, slowly this year. But I I'm using the tiger to to buy. Then my commission two dollar only. Yeah, so so it's very cheap. Tiger and Mumu, I, I always the same commission one dollar, platform fee one dollar. So the brokerage fee two dollar only. So if you buy anything two hundred to two thousand also can. It's just one percent to point one percent of your uh. Of your stock price only yeah uh bear hugger if cfa read drop from 78 cents to 70 cents for example will the dividend you increase the answer is yes if it drops 10 percent then the dividend you will go up 10 percent from 6.2 percent you'll become 6.8 percent the lower the price the higher your dividend you yeah okay yeah so okay let me go to the second part already yeah so today a lot of things to cover half i'm just halfway there so Earning season, yeah, then tomorrow will be 10 cent and ping to door. So tomorrow another busy day for master. So sell me just reported results. So one thing to look at is the market cap. Boss is a hardware company and it's going into EV. So recently a lot of news on Xiaomi is the EV. And you see that their chart, right, is actually very bullish. They bounce off from the lows. The lows was about the $10 level. And now it's $15 level. So it's up almost 40% already. 
So those who bought Xiaomi, congrats to you all. So Xiaomi, I think Dominic Tio, at that time I drink coffee, he may tell me he bought Xiaomi. So congrats to Dominic Tio Hua lah. So the market cap is about 370 billion Hong Kong dollar is traded in the Hong Kong market. In their recent results, they have about 33.6 billion of cash in their balance sheet. So about 10% of their market cap is in cash. When I covered Xiaomi in the past, right, it was 20 to 30 percent of their market cap in cash. Because now the stock price go up. So the cash relative to market cap is less. So one so it might tell us that Xiaomi might not be cheap already. So my I personally think that Xiaomi is not cheap. Lah. I think Xiaomi is fairly priced. Lah. I think Xiaomi is fairly priced. So their recent results, right? Full year results, it might look bad because it's down 3.2%. But understand that they were facing a down cycle, a slowdown in consumer spending in electronics. But the fourth quarter results, very good. Revenues up 10%, so, or almost 11%. So there's a rebound already. So I think the coming first quarter results will be very good. And we saw that Xiaomi, the sales is doing very well during the Chinese New Year also. Because people want value for money. So you can see that, that their revenue, right? You see, for the first quarter, it was negative 20. Second quarter, negative 4%. So that we saw the stock, stock price rallying in the second half because market is forward looking. They're looking at half a year ahead. That's why third quarter is stabilized, fourth quarter back into growth mode. So I expect 2024 or uh, easily uh, uh, the, the, the coming year, this year, uh, 2024 should be a recovery year. I expect revenues to be at least 5 to 10% revenue growth for, for Xiaomi. So uh, Xiaomi, really their revenues uh, is from two main areas. Uh, one is the smartphone uh, and number two is the internet of thing lifestyle product like uh, the Xiaomi vacuum cleaner, <laughs> smart refrigerator, the aircon, smart television, those kind of things. So because of this recovery, right? See, two zero two two was uh very bad, or uh, because it was a very strict lockdown. Uh, they were very uh heavy in the price war. Uh, so what they did was they did a lot of cost cutting. So they lower their cost base, then they are able to generate a lot of cash flow. And this year, so called, uh, last year was a recovery. So their cash flow is very strong, and they did some share buybacks. So this is very good because. Xiaomi doesn't pay a dividend. It's still considered a growth stock. They want to retain the cash to grow. Also, their so-called cash position, uh, cash resource, they say that it's very healthy. So the one that I show you is the net cash. That one is more accurate. This one is cash resource because uh, they, they can like uh, tap into capital markets. They have an uh, investment portfolio. So that one is net cash. doesn't include their investment portfolio. So for Xiaomi, one of the strategies is that they invest in software companies. They themselves are heavy in hardware. So they invest in software companies to have some synergies. As example, in China, if you buy a Xiaomi phone, you will come preloaded with a lot of different apps. And all these apps, right, they invest in all these apps. But I don't know what is their investing, is investment portfolio. I don't have the details. But as example, as a Singaporean, one of the broker uh, that I use, that I just now I, I, I mentioned, right, is Tiger Broker. Also not a sponsored post. Tiger Broker, right, the bigger shareholder is IBKR, Interactive Broker. The second biggest uh, shareholder is Xiaomi. So so when people buy the, the phone, right, then they'll put the Tiger app inside the phone that comes pre-downloaded. Well, that's because so it's a win-win situation because so, like 20% uh, of the population in China uses Xiaomi or 20-30%. So you can reach out to such a huge audience. Wherever they buy the phone, you, you have the pre-order app, there's a high chance they will use the app. So uh, Xiaomi, they invest in these companies and they provide exposure, provide traffic uh, to, to these software companies that they are invested in. So that's one of their strategy. And going forward, their strategy now uh, is upskilling into the operating system. So Huawei will be launching Harmony OS. Xiaomi will be launching Hyper OS. So their objective right, is to be made in China, Yao Yao Ling Xian, uh, to promote a uh, China system and to decouple away from the US. So because in the mobile phone industry is dominated by iOS and Android, so they want to move away from this. So that's why Xiaomi will have the hyper OS, not only for mobile, it's also for your appliances, also for your home and also for your car. So and uh, because now the phones right is still very dominated by Android. So car is a way that they can push for adoption. Uh, like EV car, people will transit from ICE uh, into an EV car. So EV car, what is your operating system? 
what is the software they are using so that's where they want to find growth uh, hyper os so not only is the operating system their own innovation right even for their ev car that they are entering into market right, a lot of this core uh, technology right is self-developed or especially like battery or and uh, autonomous driving or they are not getting it they are not gonna buy battery from CATL. They are not gonna buy battery from uh, BYD. They are not gonna get the uh, full self driving from Pi Two. They are not gonna get the full self driving from Xpeng. They gonna do it themselves. So because everything they do themselves, their R and D cost is very high. They they, uh, they they do a lot of research in order to push out the Xiaomi SU Seven. So it, they will announce the the pricing in March uh, twenty eight uh, Oh, I, I, the rumors uh, I see the online info say that they're gonna price it low. They're gonna burn money to capture market share. So EV is very competitive in the China market. You can see that the R and D is every so people. This is compounded or uh, CAGI right? Uh, this compounding at thirty five percent is not earnings. Eh? It's R and D because they want to invest in like their OS, then their own uh, full self driving, their own uh, uh, battery. So they want to gain the expertise. So, uh, is this a good move? My answer is yes. Or it's better that you have control over it that, that you get from a third party. But the problem is that it's very cash inside, uh, burning to, to go into it. So, that, that's the pro and that's the con of, of Xiaomi. So, will I invest in Xiaomi? The answer is no. But I, I, I myself, right, I don't like EV exposure because I'm not so expert. Uh. I'm not expert in EV. I'm not expert in hardware. It's not where my circle of competence is, is strong also I, I avoid uh, investing in hardware companies then I myself I invested in Alibaba Alibaba holds an eight percent stake in Xpeng so I naturally already have EV exposure so I, I don't want to buy Xiaomi in, in that sense uh. but if you like hardware exposure like mobile phone and, and, and EV car right then Xiaomi I think will be a good pick because Xiaomi their target right is to be a top five automaker or uh, within the next one or two uh, decade so it's a bit using that same strategy on how they succeed in the mobile phone to succeed in the mobile uh in the automobile industry the car industry so in the mobile phone industry who are the top five player apple samsung or us and korea china is who xiaomi oppo and huawei so these top five phone makers they are all very profitable apple is very profitable samsung is very profitable xiaomi is very profitable same for oppo and the huawei same for the EV car. EV car is same as selling mobile phone. Just that this mobile phone got four wheels and you can drive it on the car. As simple as that. Now the phone got a battery. The EV car also got a battery. The phone got operating system. The car also got operating. So the question is how to make money. Uh, as a, I believe that uh, you have to be the top five player. And the CEO of Xiaomi is Lei Jun. Lei Jun say the top five uh ev player they will be very profitable the rest will go bankrupt i believe so same for mobile phone industry have you heard of nokia uh, ericsson uh, uh, motorola uh, then uh, uh blueberry blackberry uh, virgin mobile all gone already all bankrupt already so same for ev if you want to invest in ev you must vision the company being top five for me i envision tesla and byd they already locked in as the top five already who then left three slot only you must ask uh, if you want to buy xiaomi do you think they can be in top five your answer is yes then you buy if your answer is no you don't buy then the big question i ask myself is as a baba shareholder that owns eight percent in xpeng can xpeng be in the top five my answer is maybe maybe i have no certainty because i'm not an expert in ev technology so xpeng uh that the, the medium cap ev players is xpeng Neo, and and lin so Xpeng is under Alibaba camp, Neo is under Tencent camp. And Xpeng and Neo, the difference is their strengths is different. Xpeng is more heavy towards pushing full self driving. Whereas uh, for Neo is more heavy and more known for the battery swap technology. So they have that different specialty in that sense. Okay, so go to the Xpeng financials. Their market cap is about 10 billion uh, US dollar. And in their recent result, right, you notice that they have 45 billion RMB, almost 6.4 billion USD in cash. So two-thirds of their market cap is in is cash. So XPeng is uh, looking a bit like the JD already because the stock price crashed a lot. 
from 20 over dollars it crashed to almost 10 dollars oh, and they raised a lot of cash they sold a five percent stake to volkswagen and they sold to volkswagen i think 15 or 16 dollar after they sold to volkswagen the stock price uh, crashed so xping i might buy xping if it's at cash level so example now uh their market cap is similar to the sharp price i suppose they have i think 1 billion of outstanding shares so if the stock price right is 650 right i will buy xping it's exactly like jd already also i'll update you all again it's the it's the same play i made with jd so xping i will be a buyer at 650 purely based on, on, on the cash and uh, it's like a cash play la. but at the end you must also look at the fundamentals xpain fundamentals can make it or not so we'll d dive down into it so explain the problem that is different from jd right is that jd is profit making and the e-commerce is a cash cow but xpain is burning cash so for the full year right they reported 10 billion uh chinese yuan of losses so that's about 1.4 billion us dollar of loss of loss for the full year if they continue to burn 1.4 billion every year right their 6.4 billion cash position can only last them four years is that a red flag my answer is no i covered with your new new has enough cash to last for two years xpeng has enough cash to last for four years so balance sheet wise i think xpeng is much stronger so i don't think it will go bankrupt uh, four years i think the rest all go bankrupt first uh -huh. so they're not going bankrupt xiaomi is different xiaomi they have two business so the the, the mobile phone business generate a lot of cash they take the mobile phone the cash to invest in, in the ev business and sustain the ev business xpeng they don't have a business generating cash so they must turn profitable so will they turn profitable for an ev player right number one is you must have economies of scale you, you the more car you sell the average price of the car you can lower down or you have you can buy like in, in bulk then you have the you can scale up so for their vehicle sales right it's a bit like tesla year over year the numbers look too big already look quarter over quarter so quarter over uh sales up 50 percent that's strong their losses they, they narrow it down by 65 percent also good thing you must notice that sales and revenues is equal or that means it means what? It means their price is maintained. They are not cutting price aggressively. You look at Tesla. Tesla, the vehicle sales up 40%, but their revenues flat. Why? Because they sell 40% more cars, but they cut prices by 30%. So that's a red flag. So I don't like Tesla because they have to cut their prices to sell. But for x Xpeng, right, they position themselves as, like, say, a more Atas intelligent car. They have their own niche market. They have a strong brand. So they don't cut their prices aggressively. So vehicle sales must align with revenue. Or if your vehicle sales is 50%, but your revenue growth is flat, uh, then that's a red flag. Uh. Then uh, lastly, what is the outlook ahead? So you can see that for the past few quarters, you see their deliveries wow, starting to explode already. They are gaining traction. So uh, for the first quarter, they expect about 15 to 20% growth. So I think th this is quite okay. Uh. Uh, the the deliveries is, is okay. So I think they are still growing. Uh, the big question, I think it's not about their growth. Uh, it is whether they can turn profitable or not. My view is that 2024, they won't turn profitable because 2024, this year is a year of consolidation. I think a lot of EV companies will, will go bankrupt and things will consolidate. So it will be another year of loss making. 2025, you see who will survive. Those that survive, then they will start to make money. That's my thinking. So do expect expand the numbers will, will be very bad uh, for 2024. Uh, two, Only 2.5 two, then the numbers will turn better. I think I just straight away go to Tokyo BD. Uh, so uh, then I, I come and chit chat with you all. So Tokyo B, uh, go to group, uh, go to group. Also go to group. They have Gojek and also Tokyo BD. So recently the big news is that uh, they combine with TikTok. TikTok take a 75% stake in uh, Tokyo BD. So this is actually very synergistic because uh, TikTok is, they have a lot of users. They have 125 million users doing short form video and doing live stream. And they can tap into Tokyo Media to sell, to do e-commerce. Like example, oh, I'm live streaming, I'm selling fast high mile. So you click on my link below and you can buy my fast high mile already, uh, like the fortune cat. Then what happens uh, is that TikTok brings in the traffic. Then Tokyo Media sells the product. 
So in between, you can get the commission, which is like a service fee. Every time they sell, you earn a commission. So it's like free traffic to you, Tokyopedia. So that's very good. So it's a big win for Tokyopedia in that sense. So looking at the go-to group, right, their numbers actually is very bad. Oh, their, their revenues only up 3% in the fourth quarter last year. So we saw that the CEO was actually fired uh, like one and a half year ago. Then last year, the new CEO come in. So they are very focused on restructuring their business and to turn profitable. So this low revenue growth is because they give less incentive. They don't want to burn money to capture market share. And their main market is the Indonesian market. So you see that because they give less incentive, they burn less cash, they turn profitable. So in the first quarter, they finally turned EBITDA positive. 0 0.1, just nice. So they are now profitable, but this is an EBITDA basis. It does not include interest. So you look at the profit wise, profit P and L, profit and loss statement, their losses actually doubled. So, so it's a bit of like a, a gimmick like that. So I don't quite like the management. The management is like a bean counter. So looking at their individual business, right? For example, Gojek, which is their right healing business. Revenue growth, very disappointing. You see, uh, quarter, fourth quarter only up 4%, 1%. Full year only up 4%. So there's no growth at all. And the uh, GTV, that like, means uh, gross transaction value, uh, actually uh, volume, gross transaction volume actually declined. So people use it less, but, but they charge more money. That's why there's revenue growth. But because they charge more, right? They charge more commission, then they turn profitable. Also EBITDA positive. Then for their e-commerce token bit, they also turn EBITDA po positive. So that's the good thing. But their growth is very weak. Just 11%. Whereas Shopee is still growing at 20%. So based on this matrix, right? I think Shopee is doing a better job than Tokyo Bidia. And Grab is also doing a better job than Gojek. So they are not doing well. So the performance of go to right is reflective on uh, SE and Grab because SE and Grab is their direct competitor. If you are a shareholder of SE and Grab, right, you want a uh, go to to go bankrupt and to fail. As simple as that. Yeah. So their logistics, they are not doing well. I think they do not have the economies or skill. They do not have the expertise. So th they are still loss making, but there's an improvement. Uh, but their revenue growth just. Uh, seven percent uh so 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 that's very bad negative seven percent sorry that is a, and you see the fourth quarter their revenues drop a lot because this is where the logistics is very capital intensive and they're trying to cut away their cash burn so so this unit they, they downsize a lot then lastly is their fintech whereas c money or with uh, Sh shopee pay maui bank is very profitable very high growth so they have very high growth at 15 percent recent quarter 20 so the growth is very high i like the the payment business like i tell you indonesia is where the fintech can go very well because there's a lot of villages a lot of islands and this so-called villages are sorry as a very rural i say rural folks are rural areas the common folks they don't have master they don't have visa they use cash payment a lot in indonesia uh, because only 10 percent of the population have master and visa you go to jakarta the city area people swipe uh, master visa, the tourist swap, but you go to like or oh, a small island or oh, that people do the crafting uh, or, uh, or do the palm oil plantation, all this they don't have master visa, uh, so they use cash. So fintech uh, it can really revolutionize uh, Indonesia, and that's where they have a lot of growth potential. So fintech is where they can get a high growth rate, like the fourth quarter twenty six percent. So this is a very good business, and the losses have narrowed down. I think they can turn profitable soon. So this is the area that I feel has the most potential for GoTo and also for the uh, SE. So in the end, what's wrong with GoTo? I don't like this company because why the founder is gone already. Because the major shareholder is SoftBank. SoftBank owns Grab, uh, TT and also uh, Uber and also the WeWorks, all this. And they, the portfolio has not been performing well. So they wanted it to turn profitable, but they were too eager. So they actually kick out the founder. So both the founder already gone cash already, gone already. Or Gojek and Tokyo be the founder all gone already. So they put in their own professional uh, manager. So this professional manager, do they know how to run the business? No, they are just a bean counter. They cut costs, cut costs, cut costs, make it profitable. And, and they sell 75% of their Tokyo Bidia stakes to, to TikTok. 
So e-commerce should be your core business. Yeah, you sell away your core business. So this CEO, right, I think his the KPI is to just to turn profitable. He turn profitable, he get his bonus, he will run away already. So I don't like this CEO. La. Yeah, he, he don't have a long-term mindset. His focus is very short-term, very narrow. Yeah, so that that but that's also good for me because I'm a SE shareholder. So I think SE will continue to compete well against uh Tokyopedia uh in, in the Indonesian market. Yeah, so that's all my sharing for today. Feel free to ask me any questions about these three companies or even about weeds. Okay, so uh let me ask you. so go diet. Why ML don't buy five tiger weeds? Ah? Because I don't have money to buy ma. every month. Above my portfolio is mainly Chinese tech. Ma. So now every month I put in $1,000. If I buy 5 Tiger General, I put like $200 each. Then I pay a lot of commission. <laughs> so I don't think it's worth it. La. So I just one shot buy the CFA. CFA has link reads and the 5 Tiger all inside. Ma. All, all I want. Ma. So I just buy the, the, the ETF. It's, it's, uh, it's more cost effective for me uh, because I'm only putting in one thousand sing dollar per month uh, uh, into but DCA the 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 reads, uh, in that sense uh. and I won't DCA forever maybe I DCA for three to six months only once the the price start to go up I, I won't buy already yeah I'm buying because now it's so freaking cheap it's bouncy at this level I must buy already my hand cannot control already. I must press the buy button. You see, I cannot buy, 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 buy. Yeah, 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 yeah. I see, but I cannot control. Too cheap already. I have to buy. I have to buy. This level too cheap already. Yeah. So, so I will buy. I will buy for the next three to six months. If the price remain depressed until year end, I will still buy. But my feel is that once the Fed starts to cut rate, right, the, the price will bounce up already. So I think this window of opportunity is only for maybe three to six months. This sale. This sale. Uh, it won't, next year no more sale already. Uh, only this year got the sale. Uh. Yeah, but the, the, the CFA dividend, 8th of May. Uh, every quarter they give dividend. Yeah, if you miss out this round, it's okay. Every 3 months you got dividend. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> okay, so uh, uh, Bear Hugger is the U of Lingwis better than CFA. Lingwis, the U is 6.8%. Uh, it, it's higher. Uh. But but CFA you have to consider because there's a 0.5 percent management fee, the the raw yield is 6.7 percent because you pay a 0.5 percent management fee. That's why the yield that you receive is 6.2 percent. Yeah, H one two three four master you ham tam all in 0.7. No la, I DCA la. Yeah, but I, I did a small DCA la. I will do a bigger DCA at, at the month end when when I count my my, my remaining savings. Yeah, because today is too cheap la, so I fire a bit la. But usually month end is then my is my real uh DCA. Yeah, I'll fire again at, at the month end. Yeah, every month end I, 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 I'll buy. Yeah. Okay, EF Master doesn't like capital uh invest. Uh. Uh, capital invest uh I, I don't like yeah, uh, it's half half we ETF is half asset manager. I, I talk about it. Uh. Capital land invest the, the U is like four or five percent is lower. I, I rather buy the the, the re, uh ETF. Uh. Yeah, but but the capital invest the asset management business is very good. It's very good. It's like bedrock like that recurring income and, and there's growth. So capital invest right the crown jewel is the asset management business. Yeah, so that that's the one that that you want uh. See see your taste la. See your taste. But it's a growth business. The capital invest is a bit half fuck. Because half of it is the management business. Half of it is a read. Uh, I want the management business. I don't want the REIT. If I want to buy REIT, I rather buy CFA. So so so, I, I go for a pure play la, But see what you want uh, Capital land uh invest is is also can one. Uh, if you like it, you go ahead. Yeah, Edmund Choi, China stocks maybe earnings won't be fantastic, but with the recent events, maybe the forward guidance will be good. Tomorrow will be Tencent result. So so Tencent will tell us whether it's good. Because Tencent is so diversified. You can we will look at the uh, investing. Look at their uh, games, look at their advertising, look at their cloud enterprise business, look at their video business. So Tencent is the most important. Tencent gives us a lot of data to see how all these businesses are, are doing. So tomorrow we, we, we see. Oh, Desmond Lim, since you say live streaming is the future, what are your thoughts on Huya and Douyu? Uh, 
Wu Yang and Dou Yu both is under Tencent. If you want them, you just buy Tencent. You own both Wu Yang and and Dou Yu. Uh, Tencent wanted to merge both of them together, but the regulatory is uh, block it. Uh, live streaming, the thing is that it's very competitive. That's and most of the traffic is going to uh Taobao Live, Taobao Zibo lah, Taobao Live, and the Douyin Zibo, TikTok, and the third platform is the now that is coming up and coming is the Weixin Shiping, which is the Tencent video. So for streaming, right, there's a lot of players, but usually the top three can be profitable only. Uh, example in the US, the number one streaming platform is YouTube, which is you're watching now. Number two is uh Netflix, then number three is uh uh Disney Plus, then example like Twitch, Twitch uh, has a lot of traffic but it's not profitable. So the Hu Ya and Dou Yu is is like Twitch like that. Yeah. So for for me, I prefer to go for the market leader. I I like YouTube. I like Netflix. Yeah. So that's why I I prefer. Taobao Zibo, I prefer the Douyin Zibo. Uh, I I don't like Hu Ya and, and Dou Dou Yu. Ah, they they are loss making. Ah, if I'm not mistaken, yeah. Okay, so I yeah, master a bit tired already. So I just see got what questions that then 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 I answer. Okay. N two I U. I think that that is that's a read. Ah, like, rough, rough, yeah, rough. Ah, I'm in our Telegram. You tell me that you bought a lot of sampan reads. Ah, wow. Ah, so. I I hope you you can endure. Huh? That we, we today got the news that uh, the menu live read ah, uh, it uh, it's no good leh. Yeah, so I I I'm my slides overload really. I never put this news ah. Uh. So yeah, maple bread. This is very cheap ah. Uh, uh, now seven percent you is an easy buy lah. I don't think they are going bankrupt ah. Uh. Wow, but it's super cheap lah. Uh, yeah, but among the five tiger right, this is my topic already. If I have to buy one read out of my five tiger, I will buy. M P A C T, yeah. So for manual live read, right? You see today, right? March nineteen, yeah. Today news, ah. Change of C E O, deputy C E O, C F O. That means 大扫除 The entire management team, oh, gone case. They all resign. They all resign. Oh, you see the C E O, what? Trip Jaya Ang Mo, Caroline Fong, Robert Wong, Kana Chop, Carol, ah, they will be stepping down June thirty. So all of them, they 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 jump off the ship already. So I think it might go to zero. I think there's a high chance Manual Life is going to zero and not coming back. Ah, oh, the the uh, so this one is too late to exit already. I keep telling you all to 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 run away. So put into cold freezer lah. Now it's five point two cent ah. I think today it is trading hot or what? I I don't know. Oh, but it's gonna be on a downtrend ah. This is gone case already lah. Manual live read and, and prime read, I think they will go to zero lah. Given the my sharing, you look at back at my past sharing, I think there's a high chance both man manual live read and the prime read will go to zero. So don't try to bargain hunt the sampan reads ah. No matter how cheap they are, if they go to one cent, will, will you all in buy? They go to one cent means they are going bankrupt already. Yeah, so cannot don't don't try to buy the sampan reads ah. Go for the blue chip reads ah. Because sometimes is the more you try to average down and fight back, the more you lose. If you want to fight back, buy the blue chip reads. You you can slowly fight back. You buy the sometimes reads, you will only lose more. So so this is my my advice ah. You all be careful lah. Oleg, what's the opinion on new? Uh, new like I mentioned, I covered new the other time ah. New is like expand, but new the the losses is huge because of their battery unit. If they can IPO out their battery unit, that then Neo will be doing very well. Well, that that's my thinking lah. Okay, yeah, CFA ah, everybody buy CFA ah. Oh, Chris, Christine, EV got alternative like public transport. Uh, Grab, mobile phone don't have. Cannot imagine using public phone again. Yeah, yeah, EV is considered transport lah. So transport, there are always alternative. So so EV is not easy to compete. Yeah, that that that's the difference. Also, yeah, Gili Auto better. Ah. Gili, Gili, they are huge. You know, it's like a quality. Ah, it's like state-owned one. So Gili is a bit different. Gili, they they are very strong. In China, it's called Chili lah. Chili, they got do electronics. They also got do car. They have ice car. They have EV car. They also do the rocket. You know, like the SpaceX fire the rocket. They also do the rocket. So it's more like a state-backed one. So Chili, I would say, is more like a government entity lah. It's a bit like Huawei, 
Whereas Neo and X Pain is more competitive. It's it's like uh, uh for profit uh, yeah. So so I think that's a bit different uh, yeah. But cash flow negative no uh, X Pain and Neo both is cash flow negative. They burn a lot of cash uh to to do R and D. Yeah, Nike DBS all time high was thirty seven uh, wow. two years ago uh, scary uh. I don't know uh, yeah. But 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 now it's thirty five uh, it's very high already. Rivian and Lucid is gone case. Uh. Rivian and Lucid, I think they cannot compete. Because they are based in US. US, the labor cost is, is huge. It's very high. And they, their chain supply is not strong. China, the chain supply is very good. That's why uh, it's, it's very cheap. Well, SE, back to 59, uh, 56. Uh, well, SE boat come back. Uh. Yeah, so, so see, you all who want to bought the SE boat at 56. Yeah, the boat is back. Boat is back. You all can board Anderson. Welcome, welcome. Tony Taji, how to join the Telegram group? Uh? You have to sign up as Baba Bird. Yeah, so once you, you are Baba Bird already, right? Then you go to my the Facebook page, uh, my, my the YouTube page. Yeah, uh, then uh, wait, uh, st step one, right? Step one is to get Baba Bird. After you get Baba Bird, then you go to the community tab. Under the community tab, then you will see that. That the our link to the telegram group then you just click the link then it will ask you whether you want to join or not then baba girl <laughs> private cup also then you just click to join the group can already yeah but you have to be a baba bird like if you are that means you have the bird, bird icon beside you then you can join our telegram group yeah so everyone is welcome but baba bird only la all to differentiate between the serious and non-serious one and because uh, we don't want a like, few thousand people then the chat will overflow too many people asking me questions uh. so now we have about 300 people the flow is just nice uh. so uh, uh, every week uh there's like five every week that nowadays like every week there's like five or ten new baba but so just grow slowly organically then we can manage it i don't want suddenly a lot of people flood in yeah so so our telegram group we grow from here uh, the then uh, yeah so so that's about it uh. yeah so so thanks for support and, and welcome all the, wow, WEB, wow, welcome Baba Bird, wow. Master Huat liao, like that. More and more people join Baba Bird, yeah. So for, for me, right, like I say, Baba Bird, like $2 is like a monthly recurring income, like, like that to, to me, lor. Like, 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 it's like you all, like, to, to reward me for making the content. Of course, I'm doing this, like, a part-time job, like that. Yeah, so it's a win-win situation, lor. Yeah, I hope that I can service you all well, lah. that it's worth the $2, lah. But I think confirm is worth one lah. My one is very cheap there. Two two dollar is very cheap already. Lah. If you join Adam Cool, right? His the telegram is one thousand dollar. Adam Cool the telegram, one thousand uh, dollar. Then you can see that his is the trading ideas and his live trip all this. Lah. My one is two dollar only. So my one is not to earn your money lah. To be honest, two dollar uh, is that uh is can cannot even buy the Milo Ping. I can buy the egg pata. It's a more like to differentiate between. The serious and not serious one. Because if it's free, right? People come in, they, they talk rubbish, they ask stupid questions, then they then I have to kick and ban them. You, people pay $2, they, they ask more serious questions. Uh, then people, my community is more mature. People are more well behaved. Lah. Yeah. Yeah. But sometimes master can be a bit crazy. Lah. Like I like previously I recently I quarreled with this guy called Ryan. Oh, so I, oh, then I uh, because I, I keep explaining about the, the reads uh, then he keep arguing with me. So and now I lose my temper, I ban him. So I reflect on my action uh, I uh, then but I don't really ban much people uh, uh, so maybe I apologize to Ryan uh, that master ban you uh, but I ban you uh, then we don't quarrel better uh, yeah well, I don't want to quarrel with anyone uh, yeah. But but usually master is okay one, but sometimes master can go crazy. Yeah. Then I cry at you, then I ban you. But but even I ban you, right, your loss is not huge. Right? It's just two dollars only. Yeah, so so it is uh master is cannot scam your money, man. It's just two dollars only. Am I right? Yeah, your downside is also very limited. So so I think it's quite fair, la. Oh, I think my 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 community, my my business model, I think it's quite fair, la. You all feel free to feedback with me, la. Or anything you all think I can improve on. So uh, Delphi, I don't like go to as well. However, the fintech is growing because of the reach towards rural area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what, that's what I think the, the fintech, a lot of potential. Still losing out to Shopee as a whole. Their market share is too small for my, my liking. Yeah. Because go to, they are very strong in Indonesia, but they are not strong in Asia. That, that's the problem. 
Yeah, founder got cancer. Ah. Oh, yo, so poor thing. Ah. I think too stress. Ah. Stress until to cancer. Ah. Even Burmese got prefer online bank. Yeah, online is easier. Cash 11, welcome, welcome. CFA, pao jia, pao jia. Yeah, inside got, the top position is Lingwits. Ah. ML, why you don't buy after MOM, FOMC? Ah? I don't know. I boss, uh, I will DCA ah, because it's just a small position. Every month I will buy. Ah. Even if the price go up, ah, I will buy. A anything 80 cents or less, I will buy. Ah. 80 cents or less, I will buy. Because fair value is at least $1. So at 80 cents, I'm getting 20% margin of safety. But if it chung up very high, I won't buy. So now I will keep DCA. Even 90 cents, I, I will buy. Yeah, I will buy all the way. Then maybe 90 cents, I stop buying already. What? Wow, that's my name. That, oh, thank you, thank you. Oh, what la, what la. Hope you, what, what be big. Oh, thanks for your chicken chop. Thank you, thank you. That's my name. What la, what la. Ah, Nigoro. Tokyo is my wife village. Ah. Oh, your founder is your same kampong as your wife. Ah. Wow. Founder has voting shares, still kick and influential. Yeah, the soft bank ah, soft bank asked the founder to, 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 to come down. Yeah, only difference between Shopee and Tokyo Bida is that Tokyo Bida has a specific section that target toward rural business and help them move their business towards e-commerce. Yeah, so so usually they have their strong point. Oh. They, they attack different niche. So that, that's the important thing. Yeah, master today very, very excited. Yeah. Chun now, Master, what is your top pick out of the Fire Tiger General? MPACT. Yeah, because MPACT, you see here, is actually quite huge. Eh? It, yeah, it's quite high up there. But then the, the thing is, the price dropped so much. The MPACT, the, the, the price dropped a lot. $1.22 is super, super cheap. <laughs> Among the Fire Tiger General, I think MPACT is the most undervalued. And it has such high quality asset. Because I myself, I like to go Vivo City, I like to go hiking. So I will meet my friend at Vivo City, we will buy the Mr. Coconut, <laughs> buy some old chunky, then we buy some snacks and drink, then we go hike, and then find a place, sit down and eat. So uh, at Vivo City, right, there's three places you can hike. You can go Mount Faber, you can go to the Keppel Bay, you can also go the Sentosa Trail. So Vivo City, I visit a lot. So I super like Vivo City. Weekday, a lot of people. Weekend, super, super lots of people. So you, if you are a shareholder of Vivo City, wow, you, you feel very shook when you see so many people uh, in your shopping mall. So they also own the Maple Tree Business Park along the Pasir Panjang area. Because my house at West Coast further down is the, is the Maple City uh, Business Park already. So oh, that is also very good. It's all the, 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 the tech companies, all this. Yeah, so, so I, I, I like the asset a lot. Though. That's why I like MPA City. But, but the market just sells it down. Yeah, tomorrow, Clement, is the 10 cent earnings, which I will cover for you all. Don't worry, yeah. MPACD got Forex Swiss or not? Answer is yes. Uh, they have so many, they have the Hong Kong assets, they have China asset, they have Japan asset. Uh, the good thing is diversified. But this diversification is being seen as a negative. Because only Singapore assets is performing the best. Overseas assets are not performing so well. That's why the, the market do, do, don't like it. Yeah. Uh, Jared Ho, how do you get Baba Bird? Lah? You sign up as Baba Bird, lor. you read the description. The video description will, will tell you how to get Baba Bird. Wow, nowadays, uh, so many people want to become Baba Bird. Wow, wow, our community getting bigger and bigger. Master got uh, offer special service. Ah. What, what the what? Happy ending. Ah. Make your Baba bigger. Ah. Uh, make your Baba bigger. Ryan YouTube, yeah. Different you, Ryan, yeah. Yeah, yesterday I, I kicked another Ryan. Uh, so so sorry to the Ryan that cannot kick. Master Makan your two dollar. But hope you understand uh, Master don't want to quarrel with you uh, uh, then, then Makan uh, so if you see me on the street uh, let me know. I give you back your two dollar. I, I treat you McDonald, I treat you McDonald uh, or the Ryan that got kicked by me. Uh, if you see me on the streets let me know. Master treat you uh McDonald meal uh, to to refund you. But I cannot refund the two dollar, yeah. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. So you click under the, the community tab. Uh, once you get the Baba Bird icon, you go to community tab, then you can join our Telegram group. Also, welcome, welcome, welcome. But Telegram group, uh, don't, don't, don't disturb, la. ask proper question. La. But but most people, it's quite mature. Our, our, our community, most of us, I, I would say we are, we are quite mature. La. Don't have those small kids. La. Yeah. Yeah, rules. I, lucky I was there when my master opened the Telegram. No, yeah, for one day, that time special. For one hour, I open to the non-member. 
So those were the lucky one. Uh, about 100, uh, 100 non-member joined during that, that day. Yeah, and then now it's because beginning no people, ma. Now, now a lot, too many people already. So now we, we grow slower. Slowly grow la, so that we can manage the size. If too many people, then we will open additional room. Now we got four room. La. One is like uh, investing idea. Then the another room is trading idea. Then we have another room is uh, market talk. Then the last room is my favorite room. Talk talk sing song. <laughs> that one is talk talk one. La. <laughs> yeah, that is more casual. La. Yeah, so we are all very friendly one. Yeah, so so that's all uh, that that that's all my uh my sharing for, 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 for tonight. Thanks all for coming in. Once again, special thanks to Go Kim for your Milo Peng, Elvin C for your Tai Peng, uh then uh Desmond Lin for your chicken chop. Wow, last one before we go, wow, special, special wow, thank you, thank you. Oh Ka Ka Hin Ong, thank you, thank you. Thank you for your uh Mala Hot Pot, wow to master very well rewarded. Oh just before I Almost want to end already. Well, people treat me the mana hot pot. Yeah, so that's all my sharing. Uh. CFA for the win. See, you all want to join on board a master or not? This one, very safe one. Uh. Even Amma also can buy. Yeah, even you are 60 year old, 70 year old Amma Akong also can buy the CFA. Am I right? You collect 6%, uh, uh, then it's paid quarterly. Uh. Every quarter you get 1.5%. So it's very suitable even for Akong and Amma. Yeah, even Akong and Amma buy. Uh. Sleep well at night. Master, no buff you all. CFA, you buy for your parents also can. Also, take care all. Have a good rest.